In this short video we're going to show you how you can install fonts so that you're able to use them within your Vectric programs. Now because the Vectric software just accesses the standard set of installed Windows fonts, what we're actually showing you here is how to install a font in Windows itself. So once you've installed one, using the process that we're going to show you here, you would be able to access that not only in the Vectric software, but also in Microsoft programs such as Microsoft Office or any of the other programs you have installed on your PC that uses that standard set of fonts. Now I've got some here that we're going to use in our example. We're not actually able to give you these, so you would need to find your own files, but the process is exactly the same. The type of fonts that Vectric will look for are either a true type font or an open type font. And you can tell with a font file what it is by looking at the file extension. So here you can see we've got one called frscript.ttf and that stands for true type font. On an open type font it will say OTF. Now these are actually fonts that were already installed on my system that I've just deleted so that I can show you the process of how to add these. But these are actually the fonts we're going to use in this example. So here I've got two fonts, although it looks like I have four files here. So I've got French script here. If I click on it, we get a preview. And then I've got Gaudi old style. And I've got the bold version and also the italic version as well. So sometimes it may be made up of multiple files for a single font. There are really two main ways that you might want to install a font. One is you can just go over a TTF or OTF file like French script here, right mouse click and choose the option to install. The software will go ahead and flash up a screen. We didn't see it there, a little window just telling me it's installing it. It's very, very quick and now that will be installed in the Windows Fonts folder and I'll show you where that is in a moment. The other way that I can install a font is to actually copy the font file, the TTF or OTF, directly into that Windows Fonts folder. So for the Gaudi old style, if I select these three files here, I'm going to right mouse click and go to copy. Then I'm going to go into C, Windows, double click in there and then look for a file or a folder called fonts and you can see it's got a little A on there so it's pretty clear which one that is and now it's showing me all my installed fonts. At this point I can right mouse click and I can just say paste and the software knows that they're font files that I'm pasting in there again it will flash up a window telling me it's installing them we didn't see that on the screen here it's very very quick and now if we look down I should be able to find those files so here um, first of all we've got G, Gaudi old style and there it's showing me you can see there are three files there and it's now got that installed and if we look up a little bit here we should see um, the French script MT regular which is the other one we installed by right mouse click in there. It's very important when you install fonts that you do it with the software closed and then when you open the software again it should pick up any newly installed fonts within um, the list within the software when we create text. So that's just a little bit extra in the video here showing you how to install a font. So the main thing to remember with this is that for Vectric to be able to use a font it must be a true type font or an open type font so that's a .ttf or .otf so if you're looking around to purchase fonts on the web they're the formats that you should be looking for. That concludes this short video on how to install a font in Windows.